Welcome to Good Mythical More. It's a land where Kit Kat flavors know no bounds. Because even when they're not real, they seem real because of how it's oh, been presented yes. to us by Steep. Mm -hmm. But first, let's donate $1,000 to the History Makers to aid in their mission to educate the world about the history, lives, careers, and accomplishments of African Americans across a variety of disciplines by making its content accessible worldwide. Please join us in giving at thehistorymakers.org slash donate. All right. Um, of course, we're not tasting these Kit Kat flavors today because um, cause we're not. We're tasted. We're just talk. We're just talking about. We it. just tasted, you know, lots of stuff. foil. Yeah. How a do you lot of foil you blocking things from that up. Foil. It's 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 surprisingly giving. It just basically just stops and doesn't hurt, but it like keeps your teeth from going through. It's why they basically wrap like the lunar lander in it, you know, because it stops things when it's light. Hmm. The hmm. whole lunar lander is just like if lunar foil. creatures trying to bite it. If there were lunar yeah, creatures, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they tried to bite it. I think actually a lot of it was gold. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of gold. Um, if you believe that we went to the moon. What? Chewing What's gold. Yep, yeah, chewing foil is something that I think is strangely addictive. So you need to watch out. Oh yeah, I've, I've been thinking about it ever since my teeth touched it. All right. Because it's got a weird sinking and wrongness to it that makes you want to keep going. Yeah, it feels subversive. Back for more. In the boarded up homes on the bad part of town. Where all the baboons kinda, gather. Just kind of to score your foil. If I had to break into a zoo exhibit and get trained by the animals, I think I would choose the otters. Have you seen how much fun they have? They seem to have a lot of fun. They're fun loving creatures. I just feel like I, I mean, I feel like I'd come out a better swimmer, which is always a good thing, and I'd come out a happier guy. You, you'd be ready to My crack. My hands wouldn't be very strong. Crack things on your belly, though. You'd be a belly cracker. I could, well, and I could swim on my back. You could swim on your back and Smiling. crack things on your belly. Mm -hmm. Be a little mischievous. Yeah. And you could fall asleep holding your best friend's hand floating on the top of the water. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. They do that? I I don't think it's best friends. Oh. <laughs> I think it's like <laughs> their mates. But. Yeah, their mates. Okay. All right. Yeah. What? It, okay. Kit Kats. You know them. There's a lot of different flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, like this one. Soy sauce, Kit Kats. Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, why not? Definitely. I'm, I'm, this is how I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna say, if I don't think I would wanna try it, I'm gonna say it doesn't exist. I don't think I wanna try that. It may be a good test for you. It's real. Ha! Uh, 2009 there Tokyo limited edition flavor was you're sold already, only in the Tokyo area or online. Um, but people reported that it tasted more like maple syrup than soy sauce. Yeah, because if they made it taste like soy sauce, it would have been bad, which is yeah. why I didn't think it existed. Well, is that a printed on? Um, Bow, yeah. Yeah, is it? That's it's like the printed nice. on ties that I've been wearing lately. Seems like more <laughs> of a gift that way. You know, I got a lot of, I got a whole new shipment of dress shirts. Printed on ties? Printed on ties. No one has said anything yet. <laughs> I can't say that I've seen it, but. I'll wear it to my formal events. Oh, okay. I'll say something if I if I go with yeah. you. Weddings and funerals. All right. Everything bagel, Kit Kats. Uh, I'd like yes. to try it. So maybe it's real. It's fake. Oh. <laughs> this method's working out well for you. I'm following my instincts. Yeah, yeah. Foil, Kit Kats. <laughs> Foil? <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Yes, yes. That's a joke. Fake. Yeah, it's fake. Uh, I'm sorry, Link. Did you have something to say about everything bagel Kit Kats? The garlic, I think, would the garlic would be a turn off. It'd be it'd be a problem, much like soy sauce. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how about college tater? <laughs> college tater. You know that phrase that we say all the time. Well, I'm, well, what? I'm definitely intrigued. The phrase is college. He's he's such a college tater. Man, how's he doing? Well, <sighs> what do you mean it's a phrase? He's a, he's in college. Well, I was being sarcastic. Oh, because I think when you're in college, you like says. to grab a fried tater. Mm-hmm. Mm, no, I don't know what this is, but you think it's so real? So weird? So real. It's real? No, that's what I want it. Oh, you want? Okay. 
why would I just say college tater? I mean, I guess I'm showing my hand as to the game, but yeah, it's real. Yeah, yeah. Like, it just wouldn't be like college tater real. What is a college uh, tater? It's a tater enjoyed in college. It's it it translates directly directly to university potato flavor. It was uh, sold in Japan in 2009 and allegedly tasted like sickly sweet white chocolate. None Ooh. of this makes sense. This is weird, y'all. You remember how our- But if you just search university tater, which I'm asking you to do- oh, College then, tater. College, college tater, tater, like what is what is that actually? Probably nothing. And what were you gonna say while we- When we, uh, we lived in an apartment in college, do you mm -hmm. remember what it smelled like in there? Because we had a deep fryer. I used. guess it smelled like college tater. Did it? I recently went into my nephew's college- uh, Dorm room? Apart apartment. Okay. Which is not too far from our original college uh, is that right? apartment. Did and, you get some tater? And it was, it smelled exactly the same as our apartment. It smelled like deep fried dirty like, laundry. D laundry and, and deep frying. And the, and the washer and dryer were in the kitchen just like us. Wow, really? Yeah. They had a lot of neon up. Those are the days, man. Yeah. Um, where we, we started to decorate on our own. Yep. I, I, there is a college tater that pops up. Uh, Can you show us? It is a, yes. One moment. This is a dish in Japan? I think maybe, maybe in Japan there is like a food that is eaten by college students that's like a, cubed potato thing like we would have like ramen here which is also not really from here but like maybe there's a, a dish it's like every college student is eating well, it, these it looks taters like, all the time it looks like a japanese sweet potato with there is that that it's, a, it. it's a like street food dish seeds. that you can get in japan but it's not called college tater <clears throat> but this thing is it's a uh, yeah. You can go to spudbuds.com and get different potatoes that have been decorated. This one is uh, for the for the mm. Gamecocks. But um, it's, so you it's see it? What? It's glazed? No. Oh, we're seeing, we're not seeing the decorative one. Oh, 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 it's coming. We're seeing the one. Okay, now I understand what you're saying. Okay, so bring it over. Yeah, bring it over further. There you go. See, it is a sweet potato. Oh wait, a Japanese You're sweet still potato. Still not seeing what I good. want you to see. You know what? Forget it. Let's keep going. No, no, no. I'm I over need it. you to see. Nope. We are over. so this committed at this point. I need you to see this college tater. This is a college tater. <laughs> oh, Stevie. <laughs> All right. It's a, I did not make it. It's just that if you we're going to throw you to the baboons. It says if college you Google tater. college tater. It's the first result. You can create your own. All right, let's keep going. Uh, Grinch. Grinch. I want that. I I think that's real. It's green. Yeah. It's you know to promote the movie. It's matcha flavored. No, it's not real. It's not real. Shoot. Not real. Gotcha. Uh, foie gras. No, no way. No way. I'd like, I, you know, foie gras Goose is, the, liver? is controversial uh, because of the way I had to get it, but I assume that if they made a Kit Kat that had that flavor, it would have been fake, fake flavor. So I think it's real. Oh, you think this is a marketing gimmick? But you're not a liver guy. So I don't make a habit of eating foie gras uh, because of how it's, how it's gathered, but- Let it, me guess, you have to kill the goose. Uh, well, there's more to it than that. There's more to the way they grow the goose. Uh, but I have had it in my life before I really understood how it was made, and it doesn't taste like regular liver. It like a, a like a sometimes you'll get a pate. Yeah. That I'm like, oh, this isn't, this doesn't taste horrible and unedible, inedible like liver. It's a real hit or miss. It's fake. Sometimes it does. Yeah, it's fake. Okay, good. Sometimes it it yeah it does taste like liver. Yeah, right. It's how far away have they gotten from liver is really the question. Hmm. Sports drink. So generic sports drink? That sounds like something somebody would come up with. Uh, yeah. Not a writer. <laughs> so 
sports. A real person who's making a Kit Kat. I want to see this. I hope it's real. It's real. Yes. And that's um, what it looks like. I mean, there's a soccer ball on it's it. It's another Japanese flavor from 2009. 2009. It's a good, Japan, a good year for like flavors. Egg, soy sauce, college tater, and sports drink all <laughs> now, in 2009. Now, was this part of the JFA Dream Asia project? <laughs> yeah. It was I remember a, that which was an initiative launched in the same year uh, by the Japanese Football Association yeah, yeah, yeah. to cool. encourage was, the development of closely following Asian that. football. You ever had a Japanese sweet potato, though? Uh, I believe I have. They're good. I don't recall coming to a conclusion about it. Are they purple? No. Yeah. I mean, well, uh, it, the the street food is like purple on the... Well, yeah. Purple. One I had wasn't purple. It looked more like a orange sweet potato, kind of, if I remember correctly. Maybe a, a deep. Are purple. you ever um, going back to Japan? Are going to Japan? Because didn't you have a big? Um... Locke and I had a uh, Tokyo trip that we had planned. COVID happened. We never went. I might go though. I might. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go with Shepard when he turns 16. But I f like if we just if all of a sudden we go to Tokyo, Are you like dropping hints that you want to go to. Well, it's up to him. It's just if he decides that he wants to go to Tokyo, then it's kind of like like just missed it completely. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have to go when he's you know some sometime in the distant future when our schedules. But are, are you trying to sway Shepard's opinion so somewhere you want to go? Well, the last time we talked, we talked about it being a scuba diving focused mm -hmm. trip, which I don't think would make Japan Great Barrier a, Reef. Dude. A, an option. That's what you need to do. You got to get on a uh, boat for a, a long boat. time. Yeah. yeah. It's worth it, though. But then when you wake up, you're on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Maybe I'll go do that, too. Um, Cough drop. I would kind of like this. Why would they do that? It's kind of what makes Dr. Pepper good. So I'm going to say it happened because I liked it. There's no... There's no way, right? No. 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 It's real. No. Oh, yep. Yeah, look at that guy. He's a cough drop. Who is that guy? He's an announcer. Released in Japan in the summer of 2017, this flavor actually had a dose of 2.1% throat lozenge powder mixed in with white chocolate. Oh, God. <laughs> Nestle called the taste fresh and invigorating. Packaging includes the face of... Uh, Yat Yatsutaro Matsuki, a Japanese soccer commentator, as the release was time to FIFA World Cup matches. Uh -huh. Presumably, it was meant to help fans with their scratchy throats after cheering. Um, the That's rough fun. Google translate on the packaging is, it's a battle we can never lose. Is it there? <laughs> <laughs> is it there? <laughs> is, there is there a cough drop inside my Kit Kat? Is it he's there? He's shouting, one more point. One more point. Well, that's what I always say at the games. One more point. Yeah, they do score them one at a time. Because one more point than your opponent, you know, you win. Oh, <laughs> cough syrup and... I would try it. And white chocolate? Invigorating. They're just willing to try things. Uh, you know, the, it, when it comes to Japanese candy... Yeah, yeah. They would just take... They will take some chances that... We don't take over here, man. We don't take just so many chances. It's because their culture is so old. They're trying to. They're trying to keep them. They're trying to stay interesting. Oh, okay, right. We our our country's so young. It's just right. right. It's a couple hundred years old. They're like, so oh, we, we haven't gotten to take the, a burger and smash it. And they're like, no, take a Kit Kat and put, put it. Yeah, put medicine in it. Right. <laughs> we'll get there in a. We've couple been around the block years. a lot more than y'all. That's it. You cracked it. People love being the main character. We can't help ourselves. It's got to be about us. That's, we, that we're living in it right now. That's the U.S. That's Russia. Ah, hmm, ha, oh, Antichrist. Trump. Obama.